Sports. It's in the game. Is the National Football League. And off we go from Las Vegas. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The first carry for Jeremy McNichols. And he sneaks his way forward. And that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave them with a third and about four more for a first. On the delay, McNichols. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. They snap it to Tannehill. Throw left side here, hauled in by the tight end, Ferkser. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. Tannehill now to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. Second and 10. Out of the gun, Tannehill. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. That's complete to his tight end, Furkser. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 38. Again, Tannehill. Open man, Westbrook Akine. That catch good for only a couple. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. It's a 47-yard field goal try from here, but instead they're going to opt to go for it on fourth down. To throw is Tannehill. That's to his running back, complete. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Now 
Tannehill. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. To throw on second and ten, Tannehill. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. Play action. It's Tannehill. through the contact it's incomplete the coverage strong and now it's fourth down he did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived and i've got to tell you you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach when you're going to get him sometimes you panic as well and think i've got to be there right now instead in this case timed it perfectly and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes the Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And this crowd into it early. Their guys stand tall on the opening drive of the football game. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Elliott. Nifty move. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Prescott now from the 50. Flush to his right. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Offensively, they liked their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tucking in run time, and he picks up a first down. A first down carry by Elliott. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. Last run got six, now second and four. Here's Prescott. Able to hit his target lamb. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, a 10-yard touchdown run. As his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. So a toss play there does the trick as he's into the end zone. And you don't run this unless you're sure you've got a guy who has the speed who can get to the edge because what you're hoping for, for him to win the race to the corner and turn it upfield to the end zone. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. 
So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a, a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly exactly what he did found his running back let him create some space and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense that was a route run not just with dexterity but with intelligence found the hole in the zone made sure the quarterback saw him and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one on first and ten Tannehill it's out, it's loose. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time, we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. Steps away to his left. That is caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper there to make the grab. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan. 